G'day listeners, this episode is proudly brought to you by our major sponsor, subshq.com.au. Use code BENS15 at checkout to receive 15% off on your next purchase. What is going on listeners, followers, subscribers? Thank you all very much for tuning in for another episode of the Matter Mentality Podcast. Now, uh, this week, we are just going to be diving into a bit of a prep update, giving you a bit of a behind the scenes with business and how things are traveling, what our plans are, where we're going, what's going on and what's happened. Um, so as of current, by the time this video is released, um, if you've been following along with the prep and business files, we will be seven weeks and five days um, out from the first show, which will be uh, the 15th of October. Uh, so as of today, that's the that's the the time we have left, um, which is exciting. Things are moving, things are happening. As you can see, the um, the posing stand is set up there to get the best lighting and try and get posing down pat, um, which has been a big thing for me, um, <clears throat> as I like to try and bring a bit of flair and really get posing back on track and, and kind of get that as a as a staple in the the lead up to show. Like I don't like to leave it to the last four weeks to really dive into our, our posing practice. I think it's something that should be kept in for a long time. Um, and we're gradually tapering that up now to borderline every day, plus, uh, you know, weekends, twice on the weekend, um, plus after training and stuff like that. So as much as we do conditioning for cardio, we do conditioning for training, we do conditioning for posing. Yeah. Um, myself, I experienced, if you followed our recent updates, um, video that went up, um, experienced a pretty hefty bout of food poisoning last week, which led to about a five kilo drop of weight in like three days. It was, uh, it was hell. It was weirdly painful and exhausting. I was fatigued. I was dehydrated. I couldn't catch up my fluid. I couldn't catch up my weight. I wasn't trying to eat back the weight or anything. Just simply took it as it came. Um, by the time I got to another high day, I was realistically back on track per se, but between the Tuesday and the Friday, I went from 95.6 to 90.8. So it was pretty hefty and it was pretty intense. Um, all in all, I think it was just my personal um, stuff up, laziness with cleaning um, in terms of food preparation. So it could be that. It could be, I don't know, it could be anything else. It could be gastro. I'm not sure, but I think that makes the most sense. Um, but all in all, we're <clears throat> in a better spot now. Things are back on track. Um, training this week. I was training last week, but missed the session. Um, but everything's back rolling this week. Everything's going, moving forward. Weight's coming down. Body fat's coming down. Um, lost three mil in total body fat last week over nine sites, um, which is huge for me at this point to have not made any real modifications um, and to still be dropping off like that is fantastic. So uh, we're expecting the same or relatively the same rate of loss in the week to come as there'll be no, there'll be, a, 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 we've made a slight decrease of a hundred carbs, um, off high days so you'll be no uh there'll be we're down to 750 carbs on a high day instead of 800 um i have two of those a week so that will be a good a good drop there an extra 400 calories come out to create more deficit um <clears throat> but still give me plenty of fuel and plenty of replenishment I, I vary my food sources now so i get a bit more satiety and volume out of my high days really tie me over get some enjoyment get some pleasure get some taste um and then it's back to just the grind of lower calories on the other day so all in all it's working well um, we're relatively in a very good position rate of loss per week is, is above expectation. I could borderline slow down and reduce down to two mil a week and still to come in, uh, with seven and a half weeks to go at the best of a look. So I want to be better than that. I want to be on point the entire time and make sure that there is no slowing down is just gradually tapering up. Um, and that's going to be the, the biggest differential for me to really bring that look that I haven't had before and hopefully show a crisper look in the, the heavier divisions that, um, you know, last time I just wasn't quite competitive in. So all in all, it's moving well for me and I'm pretty happy with the changes I've made and the things that I've done, the progressions I've made um, and overall the condition I'm bringing. Definitely haven't been here before in this sort of comfortability. Um, the calories still be so high. All in all, I think it's on average of 2,600. Um, definitely room to to pull down if need be, but I'm enjoying the high days and I'm enjoying training intensity. So, uh, you know, we've got a room there to push aggression if we need to, haven't had to yet. Room for cardio, haven't had to yet um and room to increase plenty of rates of loss elsewhere so you know that's all all good signs for me so i'm not stressing too much uh, i'm just getting general output steps activity sleep um recovery food protein all the simple stuff first and foremost tick those boxes um as for tommy he is absolutely killing it we are looking at the best he's ever looked um at roughly the the same weight uh that he probably would have been on last time so you know 
it'll be tenfold on condition, tenfold on roundness. He's going to come in nice and full. We won't need to fill him up too heavy. We won't need to bloat him too much because we're just going to keep calories at a pretty decent position. Look at adding in refeed days where we need to for extra high days. Um, he's still got two a week, so we can keep room in there to push those up to three a week, four a week, increase the amount we have. Um, he's just in a very good spot, looking very crisp and dry already to bring, I reckon, his best, his best shape um, that he's ever had. He's looking phenomenal. Like I, I'll be surprised and reluctant to see him not chasing a position. Um, I think he's in a very good spot. He's still got a lot of weight that we can add, you know, in coming off seasons that will will make his physique pop even more. Adding it to the right uh, positions, like working on the outer sweep of his legs, working on the roundness of his shoulders, um, getting a bit more out of his back, all going to add great things to his his overall presentation. But for this season coming, he's in a very good spot to be to be very competitive. Um, and I hope to see he get the result that we've been working towards, and I think he's capable of getting. Um, now for business, we are. Uh, working on some pretty exciting things. So just recently we've had our first ever online seminar that we presented, um, not affiliated with any other business, not affiliated with anyone else. It was just simply us um, sharing our love and information on sleep science, uh, sleep psychology and sleep neuroscience. So that was an all in all pretty, pretty exciting um, thing for us to be in prep and be able to present some information like that. Um, you know, to have people turn up on a Saturday afternoon on their weekends to try and learn, understand more about psychology of, of sleep, the science of sleep and how sleep can benefit from their, their results. So that was cool. Um, we are working on presentations for um, a new fitness expo that's coming to Brisbane or the Gold Coast, I believe. We'll be presenting there on a few different topics, um, helping young women understand a bit more about nutrition around their training, around how to fuel themselves to train properly and train hard and go into training properly, not just simply, you know, passing time or looking at gym is kind of like a chore, but actually looking at resistance training, strength training, nutrition, performance, uh, sport training specifically um, for their longevity and their future, their performances as athletes that in the fitness industry. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a pretty exciting one for us. Um, we're also looking at putting together some minor workshops on stress and progressive overload. So simple metrics, um, but big factors that play roles in progression and training that I think a lot of people um, get wrong, misunderstand or misapply. We look at stress in the wrong way. We look at stress in the wrong kind of, we have wrong connotations around around stress and how it's actually beneficial and how we need to understand it, what actually constitutes stress, um, what leads to stress, what are stress management systems and stuff like that. So we're going to do just as similar as we did with sleep, a similar process to our to our stress approach as well and how I sort of view stress and anxiety, mental limitations, mental tools and tricks and skills um, to to help you deal with stress the you know when phys when when physique coaches talk about stress usually we're talking about like you know the physiological stress of placing the muscle the joints the body um the digestive system and stuff like that but we're also needing to look at the the psychological stress as placed on the body placed on the mind placed on a consciousness that we need to be aware of um that can have effects on our physique our sleep our hormones our stress our recovery our overall appearance our body composition our training performance so having some tools around that i think is going to be very beneficial um, and then we'll move into, yeah, one on progressive overload and just sort of talking a bit more there about, you know, tracking data and understanding different metrics of progression, how to progress properly, um, some basics of progression. So it's going to be an advanced course, but just a, just a workshop to kind of dive in there and get some people the baseline information. Uh, some other big news is potentially, potentially um, finding a facility to work out of a couple of days a week to actually do some back, uh, back into face-to-face -face coaching. Um as an extra service uh, offer to clients and to, to one-off consultations and stuff like that. Um, I really miss being behind the, um, behind the wheel in the gym, hands-on being face-to-face -face with people and actually coaching them properly. Um, it's one thing to coach people around Australia. It's another thing to kind of be in the gym with someone and really push them through intensity. So if I can have a location that's a bit, a little bit different, um, I don't have to lock myself into, but you know, I have the availability to turn up to. I think that'll make a big difference in how I can help people and, and really push um uh, content, training sessions, intensity, client results. Um, all of that will be a yeah, huge, a huge factor for us to just simply have that extra tool, that extra metric to to provide people and be um to be kind of rolling with and and getting into. It's exciting, it's something different. Um I've done it before, did it for many years and I loved it. It was just my headspace wasn't the right place to be an in-person coach at the time. I think this time is something that I'm really, I'm really realizing how passionate I am about, how excited I am about 
coaching people and watching them progress and and get ahead and deal with their problems and overcome things and get better and, and get results so <clears throat> for me i think it'd be yeah very very cool very exciting experience so um we'll be having some conversations with some people soon uh to see what is on, on the cards and what we can and can't do if we can host um seminars workshops uh programs group classes whatever we can do um things to host there that we can actually start to you know build a bit bit of a central location for for clients and members and as well as just people generally to come see me um but yes that's kind of like where we are in terms of of coaching um what else have we got going on we've got our facebook group so don't forget to add that if you if you want to join our vip members get access to obviously the articles coming out we've got blogs and articles every month um still doing my best to make sure they're staying up to date even during prep i don't want i don't want our basics to slip um something that we pride ourselves on is being as hands-on with our community as possible and really trying to build out uh kind of where you guys fit with us and how we include you and how open we are about everything so I really try to be as consistent as possible with that and trying to let prep get in the way of that. So if I can help it, I will. And I'll make sure that you guys are getting the most out of me um, where possible. So yeah, blogs and articles are still coming. Um, we're getting into recorded training sessions. We're getting into behind the scenes stuff. We're getting into um, YouTube training sessions as well. So you guys have stuff to watch and really see how we do things, see how we train, um, the logic behind my training programming, the logic behind how we've laid things out, where our next progressions are, what we're going to look at doing, how we run into show, um, how we come out of show. Like it's going to be a big thing that I really want to explore for everyone, followers, listeners, subscribers, um, kind of how we come out of, out of prep and what we do next. I think is a big, a big, I don't want to say loophole, but it's a big, uh, a gap in how people coach it's kind of like you know, unfortunately a lot of people stop once the dollar does and that's fine like i understand business but i think a lot of health conscious decisions need to be made before someone steps away from coaching especially if they just done a show or prep um physique improvement whatever um we need to have those conversations we need to be make sure that the client is ready and in the best position so yeah we'll be going through all that as well so you can expect a lot of content coming out of us in the future. Um, a lot of behind the scenes stuff, a lot of training stuff, a lot of videography. Um, you know, I really just want to be as open and transparent as possible and show everyone how things are done, show how people, how, how you train, how we train, how you're, how we progress, how clients come on board, how uh, our courses are developed. I'm still working on those. Um, you know, really pushing these things to, to make sure there is no stone left unturned for you guys. It's, it's an open book and it's all there to be seen, to be shown, to be shared um, and to get amongst you know, I'm not above being messaged about it. If you've seen something of our content, if you've seen a video, seen a message, seen a, an article, if you've seen a blog, you agree with it, you disagree with it, you want to challenge it, you want to question me, you want to explore it, you want to understand more, send an email, send a message, send a DM, find us on Instagram, find us on YouTube, find us on Facebook. Um, you know, it's all there to, to kind of open up the conversation and dialogue is really what we're trying to do. So uh, by all means, if you do find those things, um, reach out and, and let us know because it, it makes it more exciting. Um, but yeah, that was just a quick update episode. Um, give you a bit of behind the scenes of where we are and what's happening and, and sort of how we're going. Um, you know, overall fatigue for me is slowly starting to kick in. So I'm really trying to remember as much as possible, set set reminders, set task lists, set things and be on point as I can. Um, maximize energy blocks where I've got like, you know, three or four hours of energy stored up and I can just execute shit, get it done and move on to the next task. Try and get some sun, try and get sleep, try and get rest, nap, steps. Um, just really ticking over at this point. Cause I know in the long run, like this is something for me, uh, but in the future, it means that I've, I've proven that I can run business. I can still hold down standards and expectations and, and reach my, my, my self value provided to clients and to, to the community and still be able to do something for myself. So if I can do that, I know that, you know, next year when I go back to uni, next year when I get into more courses and study that um, I'm able to hold that standard. So um yeah, I think if in the first year of business, you're able to get through a prep and progress and still make business better and still make clients better and still get results and still focus on others, not yourself. I think that's a pretty good feat to set the bar for your for the business in the future. So yeah, by all means, um, please like, subscribe, comment, follow, share, do every, all that engagement stuff. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're noticing for subscribers are going up, which is fantastic. I don't care if there's one of you, if there's a thousand of you, if there's a million of you. Everyone subscribing is appreciated and we definitely notice and do appreciate the the involvement, the love. Um, there'll be a lot more content to come. So I promise it's not going to be a dead channel. It's going to be worth subscribing to. You're going to follow along and watch how we explode and how we take off. So um, yeah, by all means, please like, subscribe and follow. Uh, but that's it for me on this episode and I will chat to you guys again soon.